Dear TMS 3731 students, welcome to this short presentation on what to prepare for your 2022 final year examination. I am Mr. Victor Laninguna, your new lecturer for this module. How does your exam look like? This exam is an open book online examination. Although it's an open book, I still encourage you to prepare for the exam well in advance, because in this exam, you will be timed. You only have four hours to complete the examination and upload back your script into the system. The examination will consist of three questions, which are all compulsory. For you to be able to obtain 100 marks, which is the total for the paper, you need to complete all three questions. What to prepare for this examination? You may use past examination question papers. However, please bear in mind that I'm a new lecturer for this module. Therefore, my, therefore, this examination might look a bit different from the previous year's examination. However, I still encourage you to go through the past examination papers to have the look, the feel, and how the question paper looks like. In your preparation also, include your assignment one and assignment two, as well as the feedback that was provided to you by myself as well as the markers. Those two assignments will come in handy for this examination. <clears throat> also, have your CAPS document in hand. The CAPS document, you might have it as a printed or as a soft copy. I wouldn't advise you to browse through the internet while you're writing an exam because you have limited time. Go through the CAPS document in advance and check some of the concepts that are related to teaching of social science in the senior phase. In this presentation, I've highlighted few concepts that I would like you to focus on. For grade eight, I would like you to focus on term one, which is on maps and loops. Also on term three, this is for Scramble for Africa. And then grade nine, term four, which the focus is on resources and sustainability. These three topics that I've highlighted here, please, as you prepare, these focus them on how to prepare or to use these concepts in a lesson plan, which means prepare how to do a lesson plan in advance. This was in assignment to the activity that we have done in assignment two. Also have your study guide in hand. Again, the study guide can also have it in a printed material or you can also have the soft copy. In your study guide, I advise you to go through all learning units. I know there are many learning units, but look at the most important aspects, probably the ones that we have also covered in the, and the two um, assignments for the year. However, I've highlighted few, but that does not necessarily mean those are the only learning units that will be tested on. Go and have a look at learning unit one, which the focus is on teaching philosophies. Have a look at all those teaching philosophies, how you can be able to apply them. In this examination, I wouldn't be expecting you to cut and paste from directly from the study guide into the answer paper. Also have a look at learning unit two. Learning unit two and your study guide is basically explaining the CAPS document. It's just giving you a short uh, breakdown of how the CAPS document looks like. Also look at learning unit five, which is on the teaching strategies. Um, how you can also apply these teaching strategies the practical examples that you can give. So as you prepare the teaching strategies, don't just look at them. Look at how you can be able to, to bring the 
uh, the practical part of it in your argument. Have a look at learning unit 6.3.2, which is the teaching procedural or method methodological concepts. Again, look at how the concepts are, how you can be able to apply the concepts in real life teaching of social sciences. Also, prepare other resources such as textbooks in advance for this examination. I don't expect you to be copying directly from the textbooks, from the lesson plans that you might have interacted with your mentor teachers as you were busy with your teaching practice this year. However, have all the resources in place in order for you to be able to complete the examination in time. Learn how to reference correctly. In the College of Education, we are using the Harvard method. So go and look at how to reference correctly. It doesn't really help when you cut and paste and do not reference correctly because you receive a zero for copying or for cheating. Please stay away from it. It's not worth it. For your degree, you are at the final stage of your studies. And I would like you to, I would like to wish you all the best for your upcoming examination. Prepare in time and make sure that you've got all the resources for this examination. I thank you.